to be able to withstand some hits. Be able to withstand a little, take a little bit of a hit. Oh. Okay, so we're back. And it's a good thing we're back because last week we had this comment. And it's fair, you know, we haven't been the most consistent. Right, Brandon? Whose fault is that, Brandon? It's my fault, it is. Today is a special video. We're gonna continue on with our, uh, <laughs> our workout series where I'm gonna break down everything that I do very specific for you to add to your own workouts. I got a guy here and you might be thinking, why did he bring a pipeline worker into the gym with him? But he's not a pipeline worker. He's actually a college basketball player. Logan started doing this. This is my cousin. Logan started doing the drills that we're taking you through in eighth grade. He started doing them seriously. Look what I did. You see what I'm saying? Last week we knocked out around the world. This week we're doing square view. Now I started off by saying that I got a lot of this from Pistol Pete, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. A lot of the small details is taken from Jason Otter. If you're anywhere near a Jason Otter basketball camp, get to it. So the first thing he calls stance. And what I want you to do is just slide your hips back, bend your knees and get right here, chest open, butt down. Pretty simple, we wanna be strong in this. Right? He shouldn't be able to be knocked off He's a little sloppy right now. Should be able to withstand some hits. <laughs> bit of a hit, okay. Bit of a hit, ah, it hit me. <laughs> Should be able to withstand a little contact. But we'll work on it. He shouldn't be able to be knocked off of his stance at any point during this basketball, or during this dribbling series. Square V in front looks just like this. Couple key things. I want you to stretch your dribble out as wide as you can. Once again, Logan got off a plane yesterday, and I don't know how consistent he's been doing these before his workout. So right now what I would tell him is his feet are probably a little bit too wide. There's a lot of movement in his knees. There shouldn't be really any movement in his knees. If you're looking here, you should be locked in through your core and your lower body. And the only thing that's moving is the basketball. If I turn sideways here, my chest is open, my back is straight, and my weight is over my toes. I don't want you to fall forward. All right, moving on. So that's square V in front. One hand V in front looks like this. Before you click off of this video because you're saying, oh, this is too easy. I'm a high school basketball player. Why am I doing these basic elementary drills? The simple stuff is what gets you there. Right here, I want knee to knee, and I want to get the hand all the way over the ball. I'm slowing it down here to show you for a while. I'm going knee to knee here and I want that hand to get all the way on the other side of the ball. Here's a very basic dribbling tip. If your hand is not spread, you have less control over the ball. Suction cup on the basketball. Piss suction cup isn't flat. Stick to the ball. Open your hand up, spread your fingers as wide as they can. It should kind of fit right on the ball. This is gonna give you the most control over a dribble. I should be able to put that ball wherever I want it, at whatever speed I want it to go, as long as I have a suction cup on the ball. Moving on, right hand, side of the body. Biggest thing with this one is I don't want Logan to lean over and I don't wanna do this. This is what I mean by lean over. I wanna be right here, head up, chest up, butt down. Keep going, Logan, good. That looks pretty good, just like that. Left hand, Logan. So now he's switching. Not very cleanly, but he's switching. Moving on to between the legs. You're maintaining that same posture and stance. And you're going here, between the legs. Stretching that dribble out as much as you can. You're gonna notice I don't start leaning and turning and all of this. My chest is open, my eyes are up. Just like any other drill in this series. Try to stretch that dribble out as a challenge to yourself as wide as you can go. Behind the back, right here, stretching this dribble out as wide as it goes, just like this. Hand up, suction cup on the ball, all the same things that we've talked about for every drill in this series. All right, just like last week's video, if you suck around to this point, like a Marvel movie, there's bonus content. We're gonna go kill dribble, and this drill is really important because it teaches you to stretch the ball out. Kill dribble looks like this. I'm hitting my shoulder height, I'm killing it as low as I can go, holding it here for a few seconds and hitting it one time, right, boom, pop, just like that. I wanna try to get that ball back up to my shoulder with one pop. Left hand looks like this, pop. And that's a wrap on this week's video. That was square V. All of those drills combined into one series 
called Square V. You add that now with Around the World from our previous video, link up in one of these corners right now. If you are consistent, if we're gonna be consistent on YouTube, you will see a big difference in your ability to handle the ball, your ability to play the game at a high level. My dad told me growing up, there is a spot on every single team for somebody who can take the ball from point A to point B and not worry about a defender. No matter how good or aggressive that defender may be, if you can handle the ball and initiate offense, there is a spot on every team. Stay tuned for more next week.